going, oh, look, there's a little chipmunk peeking out. And look at the squirrel. Isn't he cute? Yes. I oh, look, Roman, the boys and girls have come. Let's say good morning to them. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? We're so glad you've come and joined our Sabbath school here in Tennessee. We're going to start out this morning by getting some sticks. So if you have some sticks, let's see if I can find where I stuck them. <laughs> They're in this pocket, I think. If you have some sticks or if you have some wooden spoons, you can get those from your mom. You might also want to find a bell that will be ringing in just a little bit. And we'll be telling you some more of what we're going to do today. So let's grab our sticks right now and let's sing our TikTok song. Will you sing with me this morning? Be quiet and listen to you. If you have a bell that you can ring, or if you have a couple of spoons that you can clank together, anything like that would be great. Or get your daddy's keys maybe and ring them like, um, like a bell. That would work too. Let's ring our bells while we sing, shall we? <laughs> Those are so pretty. They're really loud, aren't they, Roman? Mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing the bell. Can you go put that back for, for me this morning? Well, boys and girls, we want to see who is here. Who has come to our Sabbath school this morning? Now, if you have a mirror, you can take a little mirror and put it in front of your face while we have Roman take a look at his face. Can you turn this way first? There we go. And let's sing our song, Who Has Come to Sabbath School? Who has come to Sabbath School? Well, boys and girls, before we do any more, we want to ask our friend Jesus to be with us in Sabbath school, don't we? So let's get ready. We're going to bow our heads and bend our knees and fold our hands and close our eyes. We want to talk to our friend Jesus. Can you do that with me? When it's time to pray, I bend my knees. together in person, we can still worship you together. We ask that you will come into our Sabbath school this morning, that you will fill each home with your presence, and that we will know that you've been with us through this time. We thank you, Jesus, and we love you with all our hearts, and can't wait to see you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus, for Okay, boys and girls, thank you for being so quiet during prayer. We're going to get ready for our memory verse now. Well, boys and girls, it's time now for us to do our memory verse. But you know what I like to do before that, don't you? We like to say hi to everybody that's watching this week. 
And so maybe you're not watching on Sabbath, maybe you're watching later in the week, and you just enjoy joining us and watching, maybe you're going to your own Sabbath school now. Whatever you're doing, we just want to greet you and say welcome to our Sabbath school. So I want to say good morning to Brielle, and I want to say good morning to Oliver and Lila. I want to say good morning to Cheyenne and to Kim and to Loon Kim and Finley. I want to say good morning to Annie, who's right here. Hi, Annie. And Becca and Everly and Jax and Easton and Reagan. Good morning, everybody. So glad you're joining us. And now, for all of our visitors who live far and wide, we want to say hi to Kaylin and Colton, to Lily and Owen, to Evelyn and Erica. Hi, guys, far out west. You guys want to say hi to your cousins? Hi, hi Titus, Ade, and Winston. How are you guys doing? Let's all say hi to River. Hi, River. Hi, River. Hi, Maverick, Maverick and Maddox. How are you guys doing? Hi, Kaylee and Colton. Glad you're joining us today. Good morning, Rachel. So happy you're here. We're always happy to see Rose. Hi, Rose. Come and visit us sometime. Hi, Nathaniel and Andrew. So glad you guys are watching. And Drake and Marcy. Glad you're here. Good morning, Ellie. I'm so glad you're here. And a newest member I want to say hi to all the way from Michigan. Hi, Elise. So happy you're with us and joining us in our Sabbath school. All right, it's time for our memory verse now. Are you guys ready to say the memory verse with me? Let's look at our picture. Who is our lesson about? Daniel and Lion's Den. It's about Daniel and when he was thrown into the lion's den. So let's say our memory verse together, which is right here. Shall we say it? My God sent his angel. My God sent his angel. And shut the lion's mouth. And shut the lion's mouth. Daniel 6.22. Daniel 6.22. That was great. So glad that you're learning these memory verses with us week to week. Now let's get on with our program. All right, boys and girls, let's sing our memory verse song. I'm glad you learned it this week. Let's sing together and clap our hands. Are you ready? I'm glad I know my I'll 
bet you boys and girls can be like little bunnies, can't you? Let's all stand up and let's pretend we're little bunnies and hop. Shall we do that? Shall we count them? Uh, I count them and, and, 
And there are eight. Well, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs on the spider. Let's see. I think I have some little spiders here. And Mama's spider will hold the web. And I'm going to let Roman put some little spiders on. Would you like to put some little spiders on? Okay, stand right over there. Put them on. Going, 
We've got our fire all ready, and we're going to make some camp stew. Do you like stew, boys and girls? I love camp stew. It tastes so good over a fire. When it's cooked over the fire, we're going to pretend. So do you have your little bowl and spoon that you can pretend with us? Roman's ready for, for some stew. Would you like some too? Jesus made my stew taste mmm, mmm, good. I'm going to put some in your bowl, and I'm going to put some in my bowl. Be careful of that fire. It might get hot. You don't want to put your hands right over it, do you? No. Okay, I've got mine. Do you have yours? Are you ready to sing with me? Jesus made my stew taste Jesus watches over us, don't you boys and girls? 
And I love all of the wonderful things in nature that God has given to us. You know what? Jesus loves us so, so much. He has promised to be with us every day, every night, whether we're in the forest, whether we're out on the road, whether we're shopping, whether we're at school, wherever we are, Jesus is with us and he loves us, doesn't he? Will you sing with me, Jesus Loves Me This Morning? And we can clap our hands while we sing. Jesus loves me. Jesus. Does anyone remember the names of the four brave boys in our stories? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel. That's right. Can you say them with me, boys and girls? Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. In our story this week, Daniel was a very important helper for a king whose name was Darius. Did the king's other helpers like Daniel? No. They were jealous of Daniel. Why did the king choose Daniel to be his most important helper, they grumbled. Daniel doesn't worship idols like we do. We don't like Daniel's God. Our gods are stronger than Daniel's God. Was that true? No, and Daniel knew it wasn't true. The jealous men said, let's make a plan to get rid of Daniel. Let's see if we can find some things that he does wrong in his job. So they watched everything Daniel did. Did they find anything wrong? No. His work was perfect. At last, they said, let's make a law so we can get rid of Daniel if he worships his God. So the jealous men wrote a law and brought it to the king to sign. King Darius, they said, you are wonderful. You are a god. 
We think that for one month, everyone should worship only you. If anyone worships any other god, that person must die by throwing him into your den of hungry lions. Please sign the law, O king. Darius was pleased that the men thought he was such a wonderful king. He didn't remember about his loyal worker, Daniel. Did he sign the terrible law? Yes, he did. He signed it and sealed it. Now Daniel talked to Jesus in his heart lots of times every day. But Daniel also knelt down on his knees in front of his window three special times every day too. And Daniel didn't care if people saw him praying to Jesus. When were those times? Morning time, noon time, and evening time. Did Daniel know about the law? Oh yes. When Daniel knelt to pray to Jesus, he knew the jealous men were probably hiding and watching somewhere. And they were. Those men rushed to tell the king. King Darius knew right away that they had tricked him. He knew something else. Could the laws in that land be changed? No, the laws couldn't be changed. How sad Darius was because he had to let Daniel be put into the den of hungry lions. Why? How he hoped Daniel's powerful God would save him. Was Daniel worried? No. Even if Jesus let him die, Daniel knew he would never pray to anything or anyone but Jesus. Anyway, he knew he would live forever when Jesus comes back. Did God save Daniel that night? Did the lions hurt him? Do you think King Darius was able to sleep that night? No. Early the next morning, the king hurried to find out if Daniel's God was powerful enough to save him. The king's servant rolled away the stone at the top of the den. Darius was crying as he called down to Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, was your God able to save you? Oh, king, live forever, Daniel cheerfully answered. Then what did he tell the king? His answer is our memory verse that we learned this week. Shall we say it all together? My God sent his angel. My God sent his angel. And shut the lion's mouth. And shut the lion's mouth. Daniel 6:22. Daniel 6, Great job, boys and girls. Jesus sends his angels to watch over us, too, doesn't he? Well, boys and girls, we've had a wonderful time in Sabbath school, haven't we? And now it's time for us to be on our way to watching church. So let's say goodbye to each other for this week, and we'll sing our goodbye song together, and then we'll see you next week, okay? Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Goodbye, goodbye, be always kind and true. Goodbye, goodbye, remember God loves you. Goodbye.
Bye, boys and girls. See you next week.